All right, Chris, wake up, man. Yo, wake up. You got a film, wake up. Yo, let's get back to work. You ain't finished yet. Well, yo, is, is this thing on? It's live right now. You, you, you're taking me live? Yeah, it's live. While I was sleeping? <laughs> 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 what? What? What is up, everybody? Hey, you do not want to miss this episode. This is an action-packed episode. We're going to take you behind the scenes of our big senior care conference, show you what it was like setting it up from the day uh, to the day of the event. It was a huge success, and we are going to show you what it's all about. So don't miss this one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. Let's get back to work. Friday, it's the day before the event. We got a lot of things going on. We're moving all of our stuff out of our home office right here in Punta Gorda to the event center. And we got so many things to do. Aaron and his team, which is the audio video team there. And you know, keep in mind, this event has so many moving parts. We have over 35 speakers. And in the afternoon session, starting at one o'clock, we have five like simultaneous live sessions happening. And we have to take into consideration the PowerPoints, the mic, you know, do the speakers know where they need to be? We're setting up all of the you know, signage. You know, we're, we're, we're setting up all of the projectors. We got the car going in there. We got you know, over, I think, 360 chairs that are being set up for all of our attendees. Amy's working with each of the vendors to make sure they get to the right spot to get their vendor tables set up so everything's ready to go. We have our volunteers. They're helping us stuff bags, getting all of our bags prepared so that when the attendees show up first thing in the morning, we have everything ready to go. So this particular project is like two years in the making. If there's one thing I can tell you about this event is it literally is the perfect example of taking an idea from its very seed to manifesting that idea into the actual event. You, know, you always need to be running after something. You always need to have that target, that goal, that thing that is driving you from one you know, spot to the next. So that way you can continue moving forward so you have that momentum. That momentum is so incredibly important you know, where you really can change and have an impact on people's lives in a big way. Look. Who's that guy? I think we went a little, a little, I think we got a little excessive here, you know? Is these are eight feet or 10 feet? So it's like 16, so it's probably, probably right at 20? Yeah, pretty close to 20, which shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay. Check, one, two, three, four, check, one, two, three, four, check. Come in, go to there, do a one loop this way, to then right like here, and then they would wait their turn to get called to someone that was available. All of these speaking things happening, we're trying to make vendor breaks so that the vendors have access to people and can get their information and talk to them. The speakers, you know, if anyone ever were to come up to you guys and like, you know, hey, I'm a speaker, where do I go, right? There's a green room, okay? They can access the green room through this front door, you know, and they're gonna go down a hallway. We'll, ha we'll have a few more signs probably yeah, posted. Be a sign that says it's like speakers this way, speakers this way, speakers here, right? So we'll probably have like all that stuff written, but you'll see it on your map here, it's the C. As long as we have that, is it okay if we kind of block this a little bit? Yeah. And we could kind of just push this a little bit over here to the corner? Yeah. Okay. I'll talk to Rachel right now and see what we can okay. do that, okay? Thanks, girl. Ew. Can't believe this, man, two years it's later. Happening. Holy cow. So I, got a, I got an extra kid at home now, too, you know? Yeah, I know. What, what the That's heck? Crazy. This is it. This is the day. It's finally here. Like all this work, all this preparation, all these planning, all of the 
effort that went into it. The day has come, it is finally here, and we couldn't be more excited than to help our community, to support them, to educate them, and to give them the resources they need to navigate the complex world of senior care. Almost 300 people there in attendance that day. It was an incredible crowd. We had about 70 vendors, and there was so much activity happening. It was just an amazing day. But we were super grateful to have an amazing MC Mark. You know, so between Mark, myself, and Amy, we were able to kind of share those MC responsibilities to keep everything running smoothly. The last minute we were up till 1.30 in the morning, but uh, just trying to send all the last minute PowerPoints to Aaron so he can get them up on the screen, you know? Everyone here is maybe in a different stage in their journey, and we have something for each stage, you know, things like that. I'm, you know, I know I don't have it written down, but I, I'll, I'm like, I'll, I'll I, and, you, and I'm, I completely 100% you know, trust you to improvise. Like, I just, I just want to, kind of, I'm just trying to paint a picture. I have no choice, right? <laughs> exactly. I, I'm just trying to paint a picture, you know? We could not have put this day together without our wonderful sponsors and um, our vendors. So thank you all. Make sure you say thank you to them as you visit their tables later on. The goal for today is really to help you guys along your journey, whether it's for yourself, whether it's for a loved one, whether it's for a friend, a relative, a mom or a dad or a spouse, we wanna help you along that journey today. So it's so important you know, that I encourage you guys to really you know, dive into your agendas. And I could not have asked for a better team because they killed it that day. So I think everybody was a great team player. Um, everybody was able to take the reins of their own roles. Everybody came together really well for it and executed it like perfectly. The best thing for a successful team is communication. And that is something we definitely succeeded with. Everybody pitched in their own part. They helped each other in ways that they could. Um, and definitely made sure that this was a team effort. And I'm very happy and very proud of the people that I work with. Yeah, I feel like you guys did an amazing job. We all did, it took a team. I mean, you know, a lot of it was Chris or me and both of us and everybody just kind of jumped in and helped and we could not have did this with everybody else. Absolutely not. <laughs> hey, hey. Are you gonna do another event? I don't know. I guess you're gonna have to tune in to find out. You want us to do the event again? Should we do it one more time? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe. 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 Maybe not. Maybe we'll do one. Maybe we won't. You'll never know.